With the 2012 London Olympics only hours away, the Daisy Column brings you an exclusive interview with architect Patrick Schumacher from the firm that designed the London Aquatic Centre, the venue for this year's Olympic diving and swimming competitions. Schumacher, who is partner and senior designer at Zaha Hadid Architects, spoke to me about the London Aquatic Centre and a major project on Miami Beach, one of his favourite getaways. I've been coming a few years, uh, not every year, but usually around Christmas time, New Year's, to relax and enjoy the, the scene. Tell me about um, your work with uh, Zaha Hadid Architecture in London. You're based in London. That's right. I'm working with Zaha Hadid for 23 years now. I started as a student and we developed the firm together from five people when we started to over 350 now. All over the world? Yeah, with projects across the globe in all continents. Like for instance now we have nearly 20 sites open in different countries, different places and working at about 50 projects. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the project uh, your firm has here in Miami, which is extraordinary to me, the parking garage. That's right. I mean, there was an international competition, uh, hard to believe, but for a public parking garage, the kind of project which we usually we just treat as a piece of uh, infrastructure with no sense of design. And but here we had kind of a set of international architects converging, competing for this project, and we were lucky to win. We took it on because we had been uh, actually interested in cars and parking and created some other amazing parking, not garages, but parking fields before. And anyway, our philosophy is to take every mundane, the most mundane aspects of uh, urban life and turn them into something yeah. special, in an into kind of an event, an occasion to demonstrate the powers of our style we're developing. What do you think of, especially now, because this is not the first garage, there's been the Herzog and the Miron That's building, right. the Frank Gehry, the Norton, uh, what is this, are parking garages the new IT handbag? <laughs> it seems like it certainly is in Miami, but uh, I think parking garages for a while, when the, when the car was first invited into the city in the 30s, 40s, 50s in particular, and 60s, uh, it was a very welcome uh, event to a certain extent and brought more people together, but soon these parking garages and parking lots started to disturb this, the image of the city and get in the way. With, of, of having a nice uh, um, environment, so. Because a lot of them were just uh, f functional but ugly. Really? They were quite, function uh, quite ugly structures, uh, interrupting the streetscape and so on, and now we're having a situation that some of these need to be replaced and upgraded. You, you create nice structures, and usually in the same with our garage, you have, on the ground floor, you have amenities and retail perhaps, and then you build up a series of plates you can drive onto, maybe the top, there's another kind of event again happening. The ramp allows an internal space of light to come through, so it's not a dark place, it's a very elegant, bright light space. So, uh, and it will be quite an, uh, a signature piece on on the street where it is. The kind of it has expresses a corner as well. That's right. Surrounded by quite nice public buildings. One recent project is in the world spotlight right now because of the 2012 Summer Olympics. Now, tell me about the Aquatic Center in London. Yes. So we finally we also had some success in London, our hometown. I know. <laughs> It took many years, uh, it took very many years and uh, so we designed that very interesting school in Brixton in a very difficult urban environment. But we also were successful with the Aquatic Centre for the London Olympic 2012. It was an international competition as well. We won it and it's a beautiful space, I hope it will be seen all over the world when the, when the events take place. And uh, yeah, it's a wonderful big organic shape, a large space. Stingray is what I got from it. Kind yes, of, it yes, looks it's, like it should be floating. It's, uh, it's very floaty and it's a long span. And after the Olympic, we will take away some of the uh, temporary seats which are encroaching at it. Some, they're the kind of like bleachers, yes. So they will be taken away and then it will be, I hope, one of the most elegant buildings in London, sitting in a kind of landscape just like this big kind of swooping roof. You'll be able to look right through it. But now during the event, it's also very elegant. And we spend a lot of time designing these wonderful diving boards. They're very dynamic, very 
aerodynamic, if you like, and uh, so there will be a special eye-catch uh, moment to, to, to mark this, these events, I think. And what is the building going to remain as? It remains a pool, uh, not a kind of pleasure pool, a pool for sport, for, but for, every, for everybody and still for World Cups and other competitions, but also for training and, and general, uh, for the general public as well. Well, tremendous. Well, Patrick, it was such a joy meeting you and having you on the show and I hope we'll see you again very soon. I'm sure. It was my pleasure. Thanks a lot. Covering Miami Society, I'm Daisy Oliveira for the DaisyColumn.com.